Hello and welcome to Football Daily, where today we're looking at five of the worst disasters in football history. The Busby Babes. In 1958, legendary manager Matt Busby was bringing his Manchester United team home from a European Cup tie against Red Star Belgrade when tragedy struck. Their plane had stopped at Munich to refuel, but on departure the runway was icy and takeoff was aborted twice. On the third attempt, the plane failed to get up to speed and skidded through slush at the end of the runway, hitting a tree and a house, with a wing and part of the fuselage shearing off. United goalkeeper Harry Gregg and the pilot began evacuation, dragging survivors from the wreckage, fearful that the plane would explode. In all, 23 of the 44 crew, footballers and journalists on board died, and another two were so badly injured that they never played again. Bobby Charlton survived and so did Busby, though he was in such a bad way that he was twice read his last rites. The crash will always be remembered for the appalling loss of life and the end of a promising generation of players. The Heisel Disaster The 1985 European Cup final at the Heisel Stadium in Brussels was expected to be a great game. Liverpool had Ian Rush and Kenny Dalglish leading the line, while Juventus were captained by the great Gaetano Shirea and had one of the world's best players in Michel Platini. Unfortunately, the stadium was in awful condition, with some fans able to kick holes in an outer wall to get in. Fans of the two teams were separated only by a chain-link fence, and soon rocks were thrown and fighting began. The Juventus supporters moved towards a perimeter wall to escape the projectiles, but as they began to climb over it to safety, the wall collapsed. 39 people died and more than 600 were injured. In the aftermath, all English clubs were banned from European competition for five years, while 14 fans were convicted of manslaughter, along with several UEFA officials and a police captain. The Bradford City Fire Bradford City had played at the Valley Parade Ground for more than 80 years by 1985, and the main stand was in dire need of renovation. It had a wooden roof, and gaps between the seats allowed litter to fall into the space below the stand, meaning a dropped cigarette could start a fire. On the 11th of May, Bradford fans were in jubilant mood, as their side was presented with the third division trophy prior to kickoff. Five minutes before half-time, the TV commentator reported that a small fire had broken out, but the wind rapidly whipped up the blaze. Smoke filled the stand and fans tried to get away via the pitch and emergency exits, but locked doors and turnstiles slowed the evacuation, and though the fire brigade arrived just seven minutes after smoke was first noticed, 56 people died. More than 250 more were injured, and the event is still the worst fire disaster in the history of British football. However, the courage of those present saved many lives, as 28 police officers and 22 civilians received bravery awards for their selfless actions. Hillsborough The UK's most notorious football disaster, Hillsborough has been a shadow on Liverpool Football Club since 1989. Selected as a neutral venue for the FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest, the stadium's outdated turnstiles caused dangerous crowding outside the stadium. Police Chief Superintendent David Duckenfield opened one of the stadium's exit gates to allow supporters in, but failed to assign any officers to watch it, and fans went through into already overcrowded standing pens. A crush followed, and 96 people were killed, with over 700 injured. Authorities blamed the fans, altering more than 150 eyewitness statements to remove criticism of the police, and the Sun newspaper even claimed that Liverpool supporters had picked the pockets of the dead. But in 2012, an inquiry finally concluded that the lack of police control was responsible for the deaths, leading to apologies from David Cameron, South Yorkshire Constabulary and former Sun editor Kelvin McKenzie. The Lima National Stadium Disaster The worst stadium disaster in football history occurred in the Estadio Nacional in Lima, Peru in 1964. The national team faced a crucial Olympic qualifier against Argentina and, after going a goal down, had an equaliser controversially disallowed two minutes from time. A fan ran onto the field and was brutally beaten by the police, further riling up an already restless crowd. Others tried to reach the pitch and the police responded by firing tear gas grenades into their midst. Supporters ran for the exits, but they were shuttered during games and 328 people were asphyxiated or crushed to death. And that number may even be low, as fans outside the stadium found themselves in a battle with the police, and many witnesses claim to have seen people dying of gunshot wounds. 
To this day, the full story of the Lima catastrophe remains hazy, but without doubt it was a dark day for Peru and for football, an ugly footnote in the history of the beautiful game. So those were the five worst footballing disasters, but if you like this video, check out our greatest African 11 featuring Dile Drogba, Michael Essen and loads more, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.